Tomorrow marks an historic anniversary for the civil rights movement, 50 years since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. Many are heading down there to honor King's legacy. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is with some of them this morning in Matson. Hi, Lauren. Hi there, Aaron. Well, more than 50 people should be arriving to this suburban Holiday Inn in just a little bit to board those buses and to head south. I just spoke with the organizer who tells me everyone from millennials to senior citizens are going to be part of this historic day. Well, we have black, white, Hispanic. We've all unified together to make this delegation very powerful. We're speaking. This is a movement. It's not a moment. Today is a movement. So it's, it's a powerful day. Father Michael Flager and several others from St. Sabina Church are also taking the eight or nine hour trip. They'll leave in a few hours from Chicago. Flager tells CBS 2's Jim Williams that this journey is like coming full circle. He remembers as a teen watching Dr. King remain calm as some Chicagoans turned violent during an MLK visit to Marquette Park. The Reverend's death inspired Flager to pursue the priesthood. Now Flager will deliver the last speech at a ceremony for his hero at the National Civil Rights Museum. Now, there are several events planned in Tennessee, and organizers are expecting more than 15,000 people to attend. I'm Lauren Victor reporting live in suburban Matson, CBS 2 News. Aaron. Lauren, thank you.